Hello and welcome to today's video. We are here looking at a K-pop album today. And I figured, let's throw it back here to the old uh, style that we used to do these K-pop videos in. Sitting here, um, instead of sitting over there at the table. I got an iPad, so I figured I can pull it up here. I don't have my computer set up. We can take a look at everything that's in this album. So, this album is the G-Friend Time For Us album. This is the first 2019 release album. Uh, we're looking at this year. So, uh, this first album of 2019 from 2019. We obviously looked at uh, a couple albums in 2019 already that I purchased this year, but this is the first one that's been released this year. Uh, so, other albums that I have an interest in getting, well, I also already pre-ordered the uh, Cherry Bullet album, the Q&A, and whenever the Itzy album comes out, which I'm assuming is going to be soon, uh, once that, once they got announced, that's exciting. Uh, so Cherry Bullet and Itzy, we're going to have albums of that uh, from those two groups coming up soon. The Cherry Bullet, when I pre-ordered, um, or like I bought like right after they came out, uh, right after it first launched. And then uh, Itzy, we'll have that um, whenever that launches. So uh, this album, No Time For Us, we have the Midnight version here. Uh, this has the album sleeve, which is the design based on the version. Uh, obviously, it's got the cover uh, with it. It's got a CD. It's a photo book. It doesn't say any uh, pages. It looks like it's a lot. Um, apparently, there's a photo card. There's two of 36. Uh, let me hold this up here so I'm looking at the camera. Uh, there's a transparent photo card. There's one of 12. There's a pop-up card. There's one of seven. And then pre-order benefit only. There's a mini poster set, which we have over here. And there's a Polaroid randomly distributed among the first press albums. And, uh, yeah, so let's take a look at this here. The first thing we're going to look at is the item that came from the store I buy things, Choice Music, uh, LA. I guess, recommend you guys check that out if you are living in America looking for a good way to buy albums. Not sponsored by them or anything, just that's where I buy all my stuff from. I feel like, you know, they have a good um, way things work. They package everything really nice. They're easy to work with if you have an issue. Uh, I had one poster from the Year of Yes uh, thing that didn't come right away, and I emailed them, they got right back to me. Uh, there's an issue with one of the Twice albums that I purchased, uh, I believe it was Signal, out of the pink one. It didn't come in, they told me, hey, we can't get that, we'll give you a different color. So I got blue instead. So there's a lot of different things like that. They just work with you really well. They always, like, update all their fans on uh, Instagram on the stories as well. I know there was, like, issues with BTS stuff, which I don't follow BTS, but there's an issue, they have, like, a new book coming out or something, they were updating everybody on that. Um, apparently one of the BTS light sticks... I guess the way that their management works is they try to cut out a lot of distributors in the middle and try to like sell the big stores because BTS is popular enough that they can sell stuff in Target. Uh, I've seen BTS albums in Target before. So, you know, they just let you guys know, though, like, what's going on. So I recommend checking out Choice Music LA. If I remember, I'll link in the description. I typically forget. But if I remember, I will put that link in the description for you guys to check them out. So, uh, this is the card that I got uh, for ordering from them they typically give you guys something for give you guys give everybody i don't know why i said you guys they give something for ordering uh, so i got this card as well uh now i will say i've only listened to one song uh from this album i kind of forgot that it came out now i put it on my phone and then i kind of didn't get time to listen to it and then the album came and i'm like wait i should probably listen to the main song of the album so right before doing this i listened to sunrise which is a pretty good song uh which is the main song of the album i do want to go through and listen to all the other ones but uh, I didn't get there yet. Uh, but now we're going to look at the mini posters. There's four mini posters. I opened it and I didn't realize what it was. All right, so here's the mini posters. Oh, there's the first. I didn't buy the poster with it, um, but I did get mini posters for pre-ordering. So that was pretty cool. I don't think I'm going to, like, do anything with the posters. I don't think I'll hang them up, but... I don't know. I do want to get more into listening to their songs and following the group more. Because they're one of the ones I do have interest in. But it's just... I follow, like, so much twice in Red Velvet things that it's kind of, like, hard to follow another group. <laughs> uh, I do want to get into more groups, though. I try to follow. But I don't want to get, like, overloaded with enough groups. I'm trying to just, like, find the right balance. I followed so much twice in Red Velvet things that... 
following another group is kind of hard. I do follow many other groups like main pages, um, G Friend, Blackpink, Luna, uh, Cherry Bullet. Uh, what's the one? Itzy. Just followed them, obviously. Uh, there's a bunch of other groups now that I follow. Uh, but you know, I'm trying to get into that. The only male group I follow is Got Seven, just because I like a couple of their songs. So I follow them, I'm like whatever. Um, but yeah, so that's the thing. I want to try to follow more groups, so I like to listen to or get into G Friend. They're a group that I really like. If I had to rank groups, they're definitely in my top like five list. Obviously, Twice is one, Red Velvet's two, and then from there it's kind of like G Friend, Luna. Um, those are probably my next two, I'd say. Uh, I mean, Blackpink is good. I just haven't listened to a lot of their songs, so I haven't really put out that many. Uh, so I don't really know because I've only listened to, like, two of their songs that they released last year. Then they released four last year, so I don't listen to two of them. So I don't really, like, get into listening to them as much. Uh, but I do like a lot of their songs. Uh, Solo, uh, that song was good. We listened to that book a couple of days ago. Uh, Sunmi, I sort of like her solo stuff that she does, obviously, being a solo artist. Then also getting into Cherry Bullet and Etsy. So those are probably all the main groups to listen to. Um, so yeah. Obviously, twice in the favorite, I got the shirt and the posters. Like, you can see which one's my favorite. Uh, but this here today, you gotta talk about this album. I'm getting distracted. Uh, this is the cover for it. Apparently, this change is based on, uh, which one you buy. Uh, it just has all the songs in the back here. It's pretty cool. Uh, so what to look for in here is everything on the front page. Or is it, like, sort of spread without the book? Here it is. Alright, so there's a bunch of cards here. I guess a lot, like, you gotta get into, like, remembering all the artist names and all that stuff, and I haven't gotten to that for G Friend yet. I will, though. I'm gonna work on that. Alright, so we have transparent card, two photo cards. It says that there's a Polar randomly distributed, so. Oh, I guess if you buy the first press, you may get a Polaroid, or you may not. I don't believe I do have one. Yeah. So I don't have that, but I did get the uh, posters for pre-ordering. So, what we have here to look at is two cards. It looks like you have all of them to make like a puzzle on the back of it almost. I'm not sure. I mean, here are the two cards for this one, which is pretty cool. Uh, there's 36 different cards of these, uh, just so everybody knows. Uh, and then we have this, which is a transparent card. I'll put my hand here so that way you can see it a little bit better. Actually, you can see pretty well there. Yeah, but it's a transparent card. Uh, I like the things where they do, like, transparent Polaroid type cards. Uh, both of those are pretty cool. This is one of the transparent ones, uh, which is from this. Transparent, there's 12 different ones. I want to state that. I don't know how many different versions there are of this album. There's three. There's Midnight, Daytime, and Daybreak. Uh, the last thing, before we get into the book is this thing, which is a pop-up card. There is uh, apparently seven of these. So this is a pop-up card. Apparently you put it like this and it's like a little box. So you put that on like display. Now the side of it has things here and here. And the inside sort of got like, I guess, is that their logo or the logo for the album? One of the two. Um, but it was pretty cool. I liked the Sunny Summer album. And that's why I decided to buy this. Because, you know, this is one of the groups, again, that I said I like. So this is sort of what it does. How it looks, I guess. So that's pretty cool. Um, oh, I guess it looks like this. So it's a little door. And then it pops open. And there's their picture. Uh, so that's cool. I'll put that back in the little envelope that it came in after. All right, next we have to look at the album here. Let's take a look at what we have. All right, so here is the CD, uh, which is pretty cool. And then we'll look through all the pages here. Uh, this is the page that says um, what page you can find all the songs on, I guess. It looks like there's 82 pages. Come on, what this says here. Uh, here's the first page. 
So, you know, we'll look through as always. Again, I don't remember all their names. I don't even know any of them names, honestly. Um, if I'm honest with you guys, I haven't got to that point yet. <laughs> I remember the names of two groups, all their members. Like, I think I remember... Well, those are the songs here as well, just so everybody knows. Those are the lyrics for the songs. Um, twice I remember all the members. Or don't remember all the members, obviously. Uh, Luna, I remember a couple of the members. And Blackpink, I know... How many members do they have? Four or five, something like that? I know two of them, at least. Um, just because they're, like, one of the popular groups that they always get mentioned. And obviously, I, I do follow them a little bit. I just don't pay close attention. <laughs> so I really want to get into remembering a lot of them. Again, Lone is one of the groups that, for me, talking about them, because I see the poster over there, I have interest in, but I don't know if I really want to get super, super involved, even though they're the first group that I really listened to. Uh, but definitely G-Friend, Blackpink. Um, those ones I have interest in getting into, and then... Um, because, I mean, I think the thing is Blackpink's, like, the only one of the three popular, like, the most popular top three that I don't really listen to. So I want to get into listening to them as well. Um, and then... Uh, the other ones, Cherry Bolt, they just came out, so I want to get into that. And then Itzy, once I was in the songs, I don't really want to, like, get super, super committed. Uh, the only reason I sort of even knew that they were coming out was because of Twice. So I feel like they could be similar to that type of thing. I think there's five members in that. So we'll see. We'll see what happens uh, with all of them. But those are the groups. So there's a lot of different groups that I really want to try to, like, get into this year. Which uh, means that there's more things that I have to uh, add to my learning. You get to learn all the members from four different groups that I say. And then... Uh, also, learn more Korean. Still work on that. I haven't got to do that today because I've done recording all day of this and Spicy Weekend, which we're renaming Bread Bowl. I recorded a lot of that. And then tomorrow I got a couple things to record. A couple more things are coming. So, you know, a little bit of time to just do all this stuff. But, you know, I got to get back into more focus on learning this stuff. Again, I did a little bit yesterday did about 30 minutes so I tried to do about 30 minutes to an hour every day of studying i want to get into more but that's sort of where i'm starting right now with the basis uh and then i got to read more of those books that i bought as well you know so I'm more about korea in general so there's a lot of stuff i'm doing uh language in general culture and stuff like that uh history a little bit more of that uh and then uh, learn a lot of these groups. G Friend, Blackpink, Itzy, Cherry Bullet, all ones that I have an interest in. This looks like they each have a little section that they wrote something, maybe? Is that what it is? I guess. It looks like they could have each put something in here themselves because there's different sections with writing and symbols at the top which I don't even know I don't really know what these are that's sort of like what the theme of this has been those symbols around different places though it's on the side of the book too maybe it means something with uh, their theme I don't know because at the top of this page Because it's obviously not a, like a language. Um, or, I mean, it could be, but it's not one that I know. Let's say that. Uh, so I hope everybody enjoyed. I know I sort of rambled on in the middle there. But I do a lot of these albums. I kind of just like show all the pictures sort of ramble on about other stuff. Uh, that's related, obviously. But I just sort of like talk about things along the way. So I hope that everybody uh, has enjoyed this video. Uh, what way is the opening? I'm gonna put this thing back in the little sleeve that it came in. 
It's going to be a problem now that it's been opened. But, you know, throughout this year, we're going to try to get into more groups listening to uh, more that I'm interested in. Uh, I know that there's some that there's gonna be some stuff that Blackpink's doing this year, so I'll probably get the first Blackpink album that I've ever purchased. I should buy just the old one. I don't know, or not the old one, but the 2018 one. I don't know why I haven't yet. I'll look into that after. Uh, but there's that, and then uh, again, Cherry Bullet. I already bought the album for that. That's coming soon. It seems I think is getting launched soon. I know they wanted to launch it in uh, January, so. I feel like it's kind of late now, being um, the 23rd already. But we could see an Itzy album early, early February. Um, so we can see that. Uh, so we will have Cherry Bullet in a couple days whenever that gets sent. Uh, so probably early, early February we'll have that, if not late January. Uh, and then Itzy, whenever that album launches soon, I will pre-order it the day uh, it's available. And then... Um, also, I want to look at getting a Blackpink album just because that will get me more interested in them as well. So this year, four groups, G-Friend, Blackpink, Cherry Bullet, Itzy. That's the main focus uh, for me to learn about those. K-pop-wise, those are the groups that I want to get interested in uh, or get more interested in because I'm interested in all four of them. Get more interested and uh, see what happens from there. So thank you guys for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed and we'll see you guys in the next one.